Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Today we're not just going to look at how we can add general warmth to an image, instead we're going to achieve a much more natural look by adding the warmth specifically to our highlights. This process will also add a little bit of brightness to our highlights which will make them more impacting. So to begin with we're going to create a new layer, go to our paintbrush, make sure it's a reasonable size and click on our foreground colour. Now I've chosen a beige orange colour because the sunrise here is kind of beige. If your sunset or sunrise is bright pink then you should choose a colour closer to that. Once you've chosen the colour press OK. Then simply paint over the areas you wish to add warmth to. Once we've done that change the blend mode of this layer to soft light. Now you can see we've applied warmth to our image but we've also added an orange cast to the jetty and to some of the clouds here. So to target the highlights specifically, we're going to create a mask, go to image, apply image, make sure the settings are the same as mine and press OK. And apply image has created a mask which is targeting specifically our highlights and upper midtones. And you can see we've now removed the orange cast on the jetty and the building in the background. Some of the clouds still have an unnatural orange, so to make the mask more precise, I'm going to go to image, apply image again and simply repeat the process. And now we've targeted that warmth specifically to our highlights. The great thing about this process as well, if we click on the layer and choose our paintbrush again, we can paint in some of the areas we may have missed earlier on. We can also strengthen the effect by changing the blend mode to overlay. Many people like to use a photo filter to add warmth to an image and if that's your preference you can do the exact same thing and make sure the photo filter only affects the highlights. Let me show you what I mean. I'll delete this layer, I open up a photo filter and choose a warming filter. I'm going to bring the density all the way up to 100 and go to image, apply image, OK and do that again and change the blend mode to soft light. And just as before we've made our highlights much more impacting and we can change that to overlay if we want a stronger effect. If we want we can be a bit more creative with the process. For example I have a cityscape shot here and I want to make it a bit more futuristic, a bit colder. So I'll open up the Raya Pro panel which is a panel I've just created dedicated to digital blending workflows but it isn't available to the general public yet. I'll go to enhancements and choose general warmth. Now this has basically created a photo filter just as before and if we open up the photo filter we can change from a warming filter to a cool filter. And now we've added more blues to our highlights which gives our image a more of a futuristic cityscape feel. There are lots of ways to be creative with this process so I hope you have fun with it and hopefully I'll see you next time.